So Conor McGregor is now a actor. Yep, that's correct. Today we're going to be talking about the notorious Conor McGregor. Famous for his heyday. We all know who he is, but if you don't, he was an MMA fighter, worked his way up the ranks until he reached the status of champ champ, winning two belts through the UFC and then also fighting in a boxing ring with Mayweather, earning himself a nice little bit of money throughout the years. But now, it's come to my attention and everybody else's that watches films or has seen trailers, he's now in the re imagined version of Roadhouse which is a classic film with Patrick Swayze from I think it's the 90s or the 80s and now they're doing the remade spin of things with Jake Gyllenhaal as the main character and Conor McGregor and various others as the cast and crew. The film's already dropped but everyone's had their own bias and opinion when it comes to Conor McGregor as a actor and I've seen a mixed bag of responses many people either saying oh he's really good yeah what a fantastic job Conor and then I've seen the complete opposite where it's this man can't act for shit he's so shit single-handedly ruined the film so so I thought I'd give my own two cents because everybody else's. Hey fellas, looks like you're having a smashing tonight. When it comes to Conor McGregor, it's very hard to defend him certain times, mainly because of his uh, track record of being up old men. So this surveillance video showing MMA fighter Conor McGregor punching an elderly man is making its rounds on the internet. Wow, there we go. But in general, I don't think he's a bad person. I just think he has bad guidance and bad judgment, really. That's all it is. And there have been times where he has done some, you know, pretty questionable actions where he punched the mascot. Yeah, I'm bringing that back up because that happened. There have been times where he's done some not great things. However, when it comes to acting, um, he's not that bad. I'll, I'll say this. In terms of the grand scheme of rating of an actor, he's probably a solid 5 out of 10. That's me being as blunt as possible. He is just average enough. The reason I can't say it's a higher score and a better critique is because the character he's playing, everyone's already said it, it's basically just him. And so when people have that notion of you, it's kind of hard to deliver a character when people can only see you. I got a tip for you. Don't let no one get this close. Come on, not against me and not Michael, yeah? Some of these kids are in the UFC before you're in the UFC. Maybe if you showed oh, up, up and break your nose, here. you little fool. Yeah. Granted, it was going to happen anyway, right? Because even Post Malone's in the film. He's the first fighter. But again, most people would see him as Post Malone, the, the musician, rather than actually the actor. I think the reason Connor's performance probably let him down a little bit is also due to the fact that the storyline and the plot and how it works as a whole, the world. From what I understand, Roadhouse, this new one, is basically just like an action. You just watch it and it's just fights. It's kind of like the Fast and Furious for the fighting world now. That's the best way I can say it. It's just a lot of fight scenes, different choreographed pieces, and just some over-the-top characters. I think that is what lets Connor's acting down is they were giving him a role and the role was basically just be yourself. Once Knox is on the job, it's over, baby. Maybe give the character a little bit more of a three-dimensional feel rather than having it just 2D uh, he is the bad guy story. But again, it's a film. Some people enjoyed it, some didn't. But personally, I think in general, if we're talking about his acting, it is pretty average. That's no shade. Like he said himself, it's his first ever film that he's been in, first ever debut, and he's made four million, which is crazy to think. <laughs> And so it's very hard to pinpoint exactly where he is in his acting experience. If he keeps developing that skill set, he could be potentially quite good and could see him in a lot more. I think the reason that his character lets him down is simply due to the fact that him as a person and him as a character who he plays, they're very similar. So of course it's easier for him to kind of dive into that role and not really have to adapt to it. But that's kind of the problem is you're not picking apart the character and understanding what it is that makes that character. You're kind of just self-inserting into the little pinpoints and being like, oh, I can throw myself into this rather than actually expanding on what the character could be that I'm interpreting. So then people only see the character as just, well, you, really. But that's just a theory, a film theory. Oh, I'm not Pat. Anyway, that's all I've got time for. That's me done for this video, and I'll see you in the next one.